Hi everyone, welcome back to Fertility Friday. I've been getting a lot of questions on how to know if I'm ovulating. So I thought in this video, we talk about methods to check ovulation. A normal menstrual cycle, referring to the interval of time from one menses to the next menses, usually ranges 21 to 35 days. Cycles in this interval strongly suggest ovulation, and a cycle that falls outside of this interval strongly suggests ovulation dysfunction. Having regular menstrual cycles and regular ovulation is important because a pregnancy cannot occur without ovulation or the release of the egg. It's important to understand how the normal menstrual cycle works and the timing of the fertile window when trying to conceive on your own. Please review video number three, how to maximize trying to conceive on your own, and video number 13, the menstrual cycle, for more information on this. In this video, we'll focus on what methods of testing for ovulation exist. There are overall six methods. The first is menstrual history. An important point is that if cycles are irregular, there's no need for further testing for ovulation. You can assume ovulation is not occurring. The second test is basal body temperature. Basal body temperature is checked each morning, and this correlates with the progesterone level. Basal body temperature will increase when there's a rise in progesterone after ovulation. It's often not a helpful test because the period of highest fertility is seven days prior to when the basal body temperature is at its highest. So by the time the basal body temperature has risen, it's too late to have intercourse that cycle as the fertile window has already passed. The next test is progesterone. This is a simple, objective, reliable way to test for ovulation if appropriately timed. Progesterone is generally less than one in the follicular phase, slightly rises on the day of the LH surge, and peaks approximately seven to eight days after ovulation. A level over three implies ovulation has occurred. The timing of when it's checked is very important. It should be drawn in the middle of the luteal phase when progesterone is expected to be at its peak, which is seven days prior to when the next period is expected to occur. The day it should be checked will vary patient to patient depending on the patient's cycle length. For example, if a patient has a 28-day cycle, it should be checked on cycle day 21, which is 28 minus 7. If a patient has a 35-day cycle, it should be checked on cycle day 28, or 35 minus 7. Checking at the wrong time can result in not catching the progesterone when it's at its highest and misinterpreting the information. Progesterone is pulsatile and can vary during the luteal phase, so the higher the progesterone level does not define the quality of ovulation or the quality of the luteal phase. Similar to the basal body temperature, the period of highest fertility is seven days prior to when the progesterone is checked, so it's less helpful to time intercourse. This test is simply to document ovulation occurred that cycle. The next test is the ovulation predictor kit. This will detect when the LH surge has occurred, and it generally occurs 14 to 26 hours prior to ovulation. The test is best performed between the hours of 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. because the LH surge begins to rise in the early morning hours and it takes time for it to show up in the urine. These are helpful if a patient cannot have frequent intercourse during the fertile window and need to schedule intercourse on a certain day. The best day to have intercourse is on the day the ovulation predictor kit is positive and the following day. The next test is the endometrial biopsy. This was previously done as a test for ovulation based on the progesterone effect on the pathology characteristics of the uterine lining. This test was proven invalid and is no longer recommended. The last test is a transvaginal ultrasound. This will provide more direct information on the growth of the follicle during the cycle and is most useful during fertility treatments. In summary, if cycles are irregular, you can assume ovulation dysfunction and there's no need for further testing. When only wanting to confirm if ovulation occurred that cycle, a mid-luteal phase progesterone is useful. When intercourse is infrequent and the woman needs to time intercourse on a specific day, ovulation predictor kits are helpful. If unable to detect an LH surge, ultrasounds can sometimes be helpful. The method of testing really depends on the need of each individual patient. And please remember, if cycles are irregular, you can assume ovulation is not occurring and you should consider seeing a fertility specialist for assistance to help you ovulate. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you found the content helpful. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions or comments below. And if you liked the video, you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe. As always, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, or TikTok under the handle Anuka the Racing MD. Thanks again and see you next time.